Water chemistry. Did I just scare you? And you went, oh God, no, he's going to talk about chemistry. I'm not going to talk about chemistry that much. But one thing that I get a lot of questions about is what's the right pH for my fish? Should you be adjusting the pH for your fish? And it's split in terms of for fresh water or salt water. Salt water, the pH of the ocean from the bottom of the Marianas Trench to up in the Arctic, down in the Antarctic, the pH of the ocean is relatively the same. 8.1, 8.4, average 8.2 or so. That's very stable. Fish, corals, all the oceanographic creatures have basically evolved to be in that pH zone. If you're trying to corals and things like that, this can be very important. On the flip side is fresh water. Most freshwater systems, the pH changes over the year with the season. Like the Amazon has the flood season, then they have the dry season. And the pH can change from 7 to 8. I'm generalizing here. Of course, there's African lakes that have very stable pHs that change all over. But the thing to take home is that freshwater fish have evolved to withstand a wide range of pHs. So do you need to chase pH? If you're going to keep discus, can you keep them in Southern California where our water comes from the Colorado River and the pH is around? Round eight. The answer is yes. Even though in the natural habitat, discus come from a pH of 6, 6.5, they're going to do fine. If you want to spawn them, that's a different question. Then you're going to want to mimic more of their natural waters. But in fresh water, chasing pH by adding chemicals just makes a mess. For this and other tips, follow us at Dr. Tim's Aquatics.